turn to search to get to it? I no. see that next in list there. What does that do? Very good. That takes you to the next class. Um, that search results where we had three classes in a row and we started with the first one. This will take you to the second one. Very good. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't want to update that one right now. Okay. Let's take the case of a single instructor is teaching, but that instructor is supported or paid by multiple funding organizations. Okay. Do you have a uh, class in mind? Let's try HSM 522. under that. Let's take that first one. All right. And Michael is teaching that class. Okay, now in addition to Michael being paid by the Health Management Systems Department, we also have him partially paid by the Exercise and Wellness Department. So how would I reflect that? Okay, so we want to apply an additional funding source to Michael. Right. And you go over here and you click on Add Multiple Funding, and it brings up a new window. It populates with Michael's current on the class organization. You would add another record. That's another row. If you know which the, what the department name is, you can enter it here. Okay, see Exercise. Exercise. Click OK, and oh. you get the error message. So we need to put some percentages in the right. effort we boxes. We have to divide it up, so how is Michael? This would be 50-50. Oh, right. He's half paid by health management and half paid by exercise and wellness. So you enter your percentage, and you click OK, and it returns you to the main screen. I notice that it indicates multi under the department true and it does not identify each individual de department it just says multi but if you ever want to check what the multi represents you can click the additional funding and it gives you the breakdown again very good so I'm I'm pretty much done with that one let's uh, let's lock and save all right 